Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Hexo. I've uh, talked about them a couple times here on the channel. Uh, another one that uh, I think we all love to hate, hate to love, just uh, right up there with a sundial. This one's uh, facing uh, being delisted as well if they don't get it up above a dollar uh, soon. Uh, that's what she said. So um, just <laughs> needs to get back up there and... Um, uh, as you can see, I still have 80 shares here at a lovely cost basis of $1.69, but uh, we'll go over that in a moment. But over the last year, they are down almost 93%. In the past three months, down 60%. In the last month, uh, they're actually positive, 4.27%. And here in the uh, last week, 7.25%. They're down, and here again today, we're down, so... Down, down, down. Don't know if this one's hit the bottom yet or might still be testing it. So, uh, again, Tucker is Hexo, so can't get any simpler than that. And I showed you my cost basis. Enough of that. This one is a uh, MJ company, in case you don't know. I'm sure if you're watching this, you know all about Hexo. Founded in 2013. Volume of 4.39 million. Uh, average volume of 10.55 million. Market cap of 228.45 million, a 52 week low of 40.4603, and a high of $9. So, quite the difference there. If you'd have had an option on this one running down, you'd have made some pretty good money. A 60% hold on this one. Um, that's what I've been doing on this one for uh, quite some time. Um, Next earnings is expected uh, March 17th in the pre-market. And here's the last time I tried buying some of this one at uh, 68 cents and currently at 64 cents. Um, so that would have been a decent buy, I guess. And here's another one that was canceled at 78 cents uh, within a couple days. So you can see within a week that wasn't the exact price, but I usually do it the low of the day or sometimes a little bit lower. Just Sometimes you never know. It hits the low of the day, and then sometimes you uh, put your limit order in, and it falls lower than that, and it pisses me off. So I'm sure it upsets you as well. And here's the uh, last time I actually got an order filled at $0.85. Cents. So you can see... How it's going down, 85, 78, 68, so it's starting to go down, and it's uh, still going down. Over here on uh, Microsoft Bing, currently showing this one as a hold. And ETF Managers Group, uh, LLC increased stake by 79.72% to 23.76 million shares. So that's... I guess kind of good to see um, that they're buying this one, but um, why not buy this one? Because it's getting close to the uh, all-time low, and uh, not that I give tax, legal, or trading advice. I'm just uh, stating my opinion, but the low of the day is $0.62. Cents. The 52-week low is $0.46, cents, so it's getting down there, so... But currently, 4.55 above its 200 period uh, moving average. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, gain 4.55% or 0 0.03 points to a close at uh, 72 cents with a heavy uh, trading volume. Uh, the company reported on February 9th that uh, Hexo uh, provides update on the path forward, identifies $15 million in cost savings. Uh, this news uh, release constitutes a designated news release. For the purpose of company's prospectus, a supplement dated uh, May 11, 2021, to its short form uh, base shelf prospectus uh, dated May 7, 2021, and amended and restated on May 25, 2021. So, again, they're a leading producer of high quality MJ products. Uh, today provided an update on its previously announced uh, strategic plan, The Path Forward. Designed to solidify Hexo's position as the number one MJ company in Canada by recreational market share. With the goal of becoming the first amongst its peers to be a cash flow positive from operations. It opened the trading session at $0.69. Cents. The shares rose to 0 0.7179. 
dropped back down to a 68, the range uh, by which the price stock traded the whole day. So sometimes you'll get that five, three to five, sometimes ten cent swing on this one. I wouldn't recommend trading it, but you can do whatever you want. Um, I just buy on the dips and uh, keep it, and hopefully it'll go back up. So. So Hexo is gaining the uh, green zone at the end of the last week, uh, gaining into a position trend and gaining by 14.95 uh, with the latest performance. Hexo shares gained by a 7.19% in over the uh, last four-week period, additionally sinking by a minus 79.75% over the last six months, not to mention a drop of minus 90.37% uh, in the past year of trading. So this one's just been kind of all over the place. A lot of people are still talking about it, um, but it's just got a lot to prove in the uh, price. So Canopy Growth, um, I just did a video about them in the uh, last week or two. I'd, I don't have the date in front of me. Uh, Hexo, I talk about quite a bit here on the channel. Organigram, I've talked about quite a few times. They're all slumping today. This is back on the uh, 14th, so we'll just kind of highlight some of this since it's a little bit older, but I find it still relevant to the uh, stock price. So, CGC was down 7.5%, 11.5% on Hexo, and OGI down 6.1%. So, and I have all of these, I like to uh, diversify. So, probably my biggest shareholding is Hexo, um, and then probably CGC, and then Organigram. I uh, kind of like them all, but um, the one mostly in the green, I would say, is probably CGC, but um, I just like to uh, diversify, and I've been into uh, MJ stocks for a year since 2017, so I bought quite a few and uh, quite a few different ones, so, but um, Aurora, I talked about them a while back, um, the... Um, MJ Space is uh, finally starting to show some signs of life. In fact, shares of uh, Canopy Growth, Hexo, and Organigram also rose uh, by double digits over the uh, course of the last year. These gains, however, are quickly being erased by this uh, risk-adverse market. Um, I did a, a video on uh, about Chuck Schumer. Um, he's back on to... Um, Push federal legalization. Um, I did a video on him, I think, last year about February 10th. He was totally against it in February 10th of this year, and now he's for it. So um, if you look at February 10th of last year, that was the peak of a lot of MJ stocks. And since that date, they've all came down, and that was around his announcement. He said while Biden is in office, they... Um, MJ is not going to be legalized, but now he's saying he's going to push for it, so go figure. Maybe he was buying up a bunch of stock all year long and then changed his mind and wants to run him up, so just a thought, but um, top tier uh, Canadian licensed uh, producers like Canopy Growth and Hexo haven't been able to shift gears quickly enough to uh, meet the uh, market's demand for high THC products. As a result, craft growers like Organigram, have slowly but surely started to strip market share away from these behemoths in uh, recent months. Third, the overproduction of dried flour in the uh, country has led to a steep drop in prices in the recreational MJ segment of the market. This kind of goes over uh, now what? Uh, now what? We just need to uh, get the uh, stock price to go up. I feel uh, 2022 is going to be a turnaround for a lot of these. Organigram, in fact, ought to be a cash flow positive on a consistent basis, uh, but no later than uh, fiscal year 2024. Um, so some of these aren't going to be cash flow positive for a year or two. Um, they just got legalizing, I suppose, is expensive. Uh, the legalities period of some of these, I suppose, are expensive. Um, that's something that I've never looked into. I'm just uh, stating my opinion. Uh, but what I consider Hexocorp a uh, stock any time in the future. And this is also dated on the uh, 14th, so kind of went over some of the uh, share price, the fluctuations, 52-week high and low. We already touched on that. Um, 
Here's uh, talking about their uh, earnings, released quarterly earnings, March 16th to the uh, 21st. So I'd put that on your calendar. And there's kind of going over some earnings. Analysts are expecting annual annual earnings uh, per share growth 45.70% this year and 50% next year. Analysts have uh, forecast the company to bring in revenue of $49.33 million for the current quarter. Company's earnings reviews uh, provide a brief indication of a stock's uh, direction in the short term, where in the case of Hexocorp, uh, no upward or no downward uh, comments were posted in the last seven days. On the technical side, indicators uh, suggest Hexo has a 50% sell on average for the short term. And it looks like 100% sell is what they're uh, projecting on this one. We'll go over more ratings here at the end. Investors are paying attention to the stock, and this is dated on the 15th. Currently valued at $0.65, cents. it was trading stopped. Its value was uh, $0.72. Cents. Recently in the news, February 9th, uh, providing the path forward, identifies $15 million in cost savings. Uh, the news release constitutes a designated Needed news release uh, for the purpose of the company's prospectus uh, supplement dated May 11th of 2021. Full year performance is an ouch, minus 92, we'll just call it 93%. When it comes to a year to date metrics, uh, Hexocorp uh, recorded performance and the market was uh, minus 7.54%. Uh, having the revenues showcasing 64.11% on the quarterly basis in comparison with the uh, same period a year before. At the time of the writing, the uh, total market value of the company is set at $283.17 million as the uh, employee total 1,277 workers. Here on StockTwits, currently at $0.64 cents, with a low of $0.46, cents, high of $8.83. Over here on uh, MSN Money, currently showing it as a hold, and here on Tip Ranks, currently as a moderate sell. With 11% upside to 71 cents, high of 80 and a low of 53, which this isn't even to a dollar. So Hexo might face some trouble in the future, but um, they're still here on major exchanges so far, so just need to get the price up. So. If you have Hexo, go ahead and leave that in the uh, comments along with your cost basis. Any other information you'd like to share on Hexo, and if there's any other favorite MJ stocks out there you'd like to uh, see a video on, I'd be happy to put that together. I've done quite a few. Um, sometimes I do hear about um, new ones uh, that I haven't heard about, so that's always kind of surprising as I have um, looked into a lot of different ones. I own a lot of different ones, and I've owned a lot of or made a lot of videos on a bunch of different ones, including. Uh, some of the ETFs in my library, THCX, uh, MJ's, another ticker, MSOS, uh, YOLO, quite a few different uh, ETFs, and then um, can't forget the REIT IIPR, and my latest find, uh, another uh, REIT, AFCG is another one, so that you get a fairly decent um, dividend from, so I would check out those as well. Uh, that's it for Hexo, and like I said, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing, and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.